I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, the head coach for Job Search Coaching HQ. Q.com and welcome to Job Search Radio. Yay! And today's show is a reply to someone who asked me a question. And the question is, you know, it basically translates into his job search or her job search has been going on for a long time. And they want to understand how what they're doing wrong. And to me, this has always been a pretty easy question because there are discrete processes to a job search. So once you understand what the processes are, you can figure it out. So here's what I think. If you're not getting any interviews because you're sending resumes out and no one's responding, your resume stinks. It's either that or you're not qualified for the jobs that you're applying for. If you're getting interviews as a result of those resumes, but you're not being invited back, you don't interview well. If no recruiters are contacting you to talk with you about jobs, it might be that your LinkedIn profile is not keyword rich in the field that you're trying to work in to demonstrate why they should be reaching out to you. Because my belief is, and I I learned this phrasing from a friend of mine, Perry Newman, who basically says, resumes are for when you want to hunt jobs. LinkedIn is for when you want to be hunted. So different functions, but they all arrive at the same place. You're trying to get interviews. Now, if you're not getting invited back for second interviews, you don't interview well. There's something breaking down in your ability to present your experience to them or your resume is misleading, right? If you're getting to the second or final interview phases and you're not getting offers, well, it's pretty clear that you know, you don't really know how to connect with senior people and allow them and, and allow them to trust you in your ability to deliver the goods. You may have certain skills that may fit, but ultimately for senior people, they want to feel like they don't have to worry about you. So you always have to demonstrate a, a certain degree of self-confidence. And as I've said many times, when firms hire Experience and qualifications and knowledge, which I summarize as competence, is only one variable. They look for self-confidence, character, chemistry, maybe a little bit of charisma. Personal leadership is what all this adds up to. So if you're not getting offers, well, there's something missing in how you're connecting with the senior people that doesn't allow them to trust you. And if you're getting offers that are kind of mediocre, well, they think you're good enough, but they're not really inspired or, or you know, compelled to want to hire you. So they're basically saying, okay, if you'll take it or if she'll take it, great. If not, we don't really care. We'll keep looking. So this is how the process breaks down. If you want to assess it, it really comes down to these variables. So figure it out. Where is it breaking down for you? Where are you missing in the eyes of the of the employers that you can fix? And again, the one thing that you can't fix is whether you have the knowledge and experience that they're looking for for the job. If you're just sending your resume up because you want to do that job but aren't qualified for it, like, I get resumes all the time of people with five months of experience who were, uh, who wanted to apply for management positions when the only thing that they've managed is themselves, and some might say not all that well, then you know, you're not going to get interviews. So that's really how it, it gets evaluated and how you can fix it. There are discrete ways to do that, and that's where coaching comes in. So if you're interested in my coaching you and helping you to perform better in your search, visit my website, which is thebiggamehunter.us. At the top, there are tabs there that will tell you how to reach out to me so that you can book time and we can get to work on solving some of these problems. And while you're at the uh, at my site, visit the blog because there's tons of great information there that'll help you find work more quickly. Last thing I want to say is 
sometimes people tell me that there's too much there because there are thousands of posts. So, you know, if you prefer um, uh, bite-sized chunks uh, of my best information, join me at jobsearchcoachinghq.com. Join there. I also discount my coaching from people who are members of that site. So again, that's jobsearchcoachinghq.com. I'll be back soon with more. In the meantime, hope you have a great day. Take care.